So ever since we've had our pellet stove, I've often wondered how energy efficient is it really? Um, you have to put pellets in and there's also the electrical element where the, right there, if you can see it, the pot down there heats up, heats the pellets, creates a flame, and that flame obviously produces some heat. And then there's a bunch of pipes here that blow out uh, the warm air into the room. So I've often wondered between the electricity cost and the pellet cost, how efficient is this? So let's dive in. I'm going to go ahead and fill up the, the back here full of pellets. And I figure that I spend about 5 to $6 per bag of pellets. So we'll go ahead, shut this. I'm going to hook up my little energy tester back there. And then we're going to go ahead and see how much power this actually draws. All right, so I got everything set up here, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, I just plugged the unit into my kilowatt meter, and a fan kicked on here, so it must just happen anytime you unplug and then plug in the unit. So um, let's go ahead and fire it up. So make sure I'm on the highest heat setting, and I am. I'm going to flick it on. And the pellets should start dropping, which they do. And that'll go for a little bit until it heats up enough where it starts actually a flame. And so interesting to note is the wattage jumped up here to about 430 watts. And that's without any fan running as far as the exhaust fan goes. So. I'll be curious to see what this does as the fire continues. Does the wattage drop as the fire builds and it kind of self-maintains or is it constantly drawing and requiring that power? All right, so it's starting to smoke. We'll see here. Oh, the fire just started. You can see that down there. Um, and just to mention, this is a quadra fire pellet stove so it is a name brand um, not sure how that's going to stack up against the more generic brands or store brands uh, but we're at about 415 to 416 watts so yeah we'll let this go for a little bit I want the fans to kick on and I want this it probably is going to take a good half hour to an hour for this to get fully heated up and start pumping out some real real uh, heat so I want to see how it does. Again, the big test here is when this gets up and running, does it go on its own heat or do you still have to heat this pot? So right now I know that this baseline is about 415 watts. Um, and obviously we're going to gain some wattage as soon as that fan kicks in. So we will see. All right, so it's kind of interesting. I wasn't expecting this, but the wattage actually dropped to 33 watts. I could hear a little click. And I'm guessing that means that the, the um, heater kicked off and it's going off of its own heat now. Um, because that low amount of wattage I'm guessing is just there's a little bit of an exhaust fan that blows the uh, smoke up and out, out of the house. So I'm thinking right now it's running pretty uh, self-sufficiently. Um, and the fire's going pretty good. It's still dropping pellets in. However, the fan is not kicked on. That really uh, is a pretty powerful fan. So we'll just wait and see here, but uh, that's pretty interesting that it dropped that low. I mean, that's obviously half the amount of a 60 watt bulb. So it's running pretty efficiently right now. Now for testing purposes, I've got the pellet stove set to the highest setting just so it you know takes the max amount of power draw, just so we know uh, what you can expect for, uh, for real world conditions and the most it will ever take. Um, right now our basement's at 61 degrees and to give you an idea, here's our basement, it shoots back that way. There's a bedroom, bathroom, and then back that way is another bedroom. So it's a fairly good size basement. This pellet stove 
cranked up will heat this entire basement up to 70 degrees within a few hours which is pretty amazing if it's going to continue that low of a power draw we're at uh, about low 30s for wattage that's amazing i mean if we have to run our furnace to do that amount it's uh it's kind of kind of crazy and i want to do a calculation on what the cost of the pellets is so I've got a rough idea in my head, but before I say anything, I want to calculate that out and then uh, figure out how much we have on total wattage. So I'll go over like the span of like say three hours to get some real numbers. Um, and then we'll kind of put it together to figure out what the cost per hour. Is. All right, so it might be a little bit hard to hear me because the fan turned on now, but now that the fan is on, um, fire is going totally by itself. It We know now it does not take power to heat that pot up it's just self-sufficient as far as that goes so we got the blower fan and then we've got the exhaust fan running and look at our meter here and it's hovering right around 96 to 100 so you could just say 100 watts um, so really still not that bad so I'm gonna let this run for about three hours and then what I'm gonna do is with this I've got the ability to see how many kilowatts we've used. So one kilowatt in my area equals about 12 cents worth of electricity, maybe 11 now. So we're only at 10% of that. So that means we've spent one cent on electricity so far. Um, and that's mostly just getting this thing up and going. And as we saw, it takes about four times as much power on this unit to get it up and running than it does to, uh, just stay running after it's already fully heated. So yeah, it's really impressive, you know, especially considering the infrareds take quite a bit more than that. And I've actually got an infrared heater. So I think what I'll do is I'll also kind of compare that in a future video, see how much that takes for power. But so far really impressed with this and we'll see how it does over the next three hours. All right, so we got about an hour under our belt here and we're still right around that Oh, it's 94 watts and jumps up to around 100 but total kilowatts is 0.14 so uh, being that we're just shy of an hour here I'm gonna say that it's about 0.15 per hour uh, when it started up is running at about four just over 400 watts so once it levels off, you're probably talking about, I would say about 0.1 kilowatts. So I'm going to put this down on paper so it makes some sense. Okay, so I just crunched the numbers here and it's pretty interesting. I've got 0.15 kilowatt hours for the first hour of runtime. Second hour is 0.1, third hour is 0.1, average is 0.12 kilowatt. Uh, 0.12 times the average rate of 11 cents an hour, I'm getting about... Uh, cost of one cent for every hour in electricity uh, Bag of pellets. I'm running about five dollars a bag and for every three hours I figure I'm burning about 83 cents worth. So each hour. I'm burning 27 cents roughly Give or take per hour in pellets. So if you add it all up, I'm getting about 28 cents per hour to run that and for a full day on full blast on the highest setting, you'd be talking about $6.72 per day to run this full blast. And really, um, if I were to run this all day, I would be easily cycling it on and off. If it stays at this heat setting, it'll get to be 80, 85 degrees, which is just unbearable. So my guess is if you had it cycling on and off and had it on a lower heat setting you're probably talking more like three to four dollars a day realistically so full blower the most you'll spend is six dollars and 72 cents for a full day of runtime hope this was helpful it's kind of interesting pellet stove on max setting is 28 cents per hour so kind of cool hope you like the video